Ayo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Glass back with a little coffee talk video. So sitting actually in front of the computer today, starting to have the studio feel more like a studio. We officially have the torch lit up now and we're actually blowing glass again. And man, does it feel crazy. I had set a goal by 2024. So we are back in action uh, well before that, that mark. And I still have a few small things to tackle, but overall we are moving in the right direction and that's kind of what it's all about. I decided to get my computer set up going, see how this is all looking. I would like to start doing my weekly kind of, I might start calling them glass chats, maybe uh, something like that, like weekly glass chat. And uh, start just getting back in the flow of things, sitting here in front of the camera, talking to you guys about glass, anything that's going on in the community. Uh, today I'm going to actually pop open my coffee, well, sugar with a little bit of caffeine, but that's a talk for a different day. But I have some, just a few notes. So like, as my days are going by, when I have an idea go into my head, I, I do jot it down and I've started doing that again. Uh, and, uh, let's see what we have for today. I could pick a couple topics. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do this one. So, uh, also, I have the very first thing that I have made back here in the studio. And, man, it is crazy. I made a few things. Uh, I made two things that did not work out. I was trying some different techniques. I thought, you know, coming back on the torch, I want to do something different. Something else that I've seen and uh, they didn't work out. So I went back to, to what I know, to what I've worked on and practiced the most. Uh, I know that I have a lot more practice to go. But uh, yeah, I went white on white uh, or white over clear. And it just has such a, just, just a very clean, fresh look and feel. And that's exactly what I was going for here in the studio, Dojo 2.0. So great way to start it off. So my topic that I've picked for today is kind of like in a day and age when there's so much technology and so much at our fingertips, why is nobody talking on a more regular basis with their, with their audience? Um, it's something like let the art speak for itself. And I, I get that for some artists, for a lot of artists, but the conversations that could be had about the art that is created are just absent. Uh, I think for thousands and thousands and thousands of years since the beginning of time, there was no way to communicate your message through your art with it simultaneously, instantly. And now we're able to talk and share and show our faces and speak to the validity of our art and what it means to the artist, uh, which was something that was a little bit more difficult over the last decades, last couple decades as technology has advanced. But currently at this point at in time, why is there just not more of a, of a conversation? Video, videography is a form of art. It is a form of expression. And so to put it alongside with glass, alongside with art, um, is, I think it's an awesome opportunity. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. One of the many reasons I'm here on YouTube to create that conversation, to just break down that barrier. Uh, because even, even glass pseudo names, like you, you, you use a fake name because you don't want to be, you don't want to use your real name. And if you know anything about, uh, operation pipe dreams, all of that, that's definitely another topic for a different day. But, uh, yeah, just putting your face out there, speaking about your glass, communicating, uh, and just at the rate of consumption that we as humans have for technology and videos and uh, scrolling. Um, yeah, it just seems like that is an outlet that is just not yet explored. And so uh, hopefully we continue to push forward. I know there are there are some there. I know. They did it, uh, does podcasts. There are ways to learn. There is Torch Talk, uh, not as active anymore. There is Revere Glass. He is uh, somebody who teaches online classes. The, the, the communication, though, is just lacking. I know Avatar as well. I'm just trying to think 
as uh, I'm starting to end this video with you guys, who else that documents what they do and uh, Avatar has begun doing that. So that is really cool to see Avatar Glass. And yeah, if you know any other glass artists that speak on a regular basis that communicate, definitely let me know. I'm definitely interested. I'd like to watch them, follow them. I know I'm forgetting a few. I will list them down below if I think of them. But yeah, so that is probably going to be today's episode for you. Your glass content fill for the day, if you will. The glass chat of the afternoon or the morning for me. But yeah, so expect more of these now that I've got my computer set up. Hopefully the audio sounds good. I didn't check it. Hopefully it's not just complete garbage. And yeah, having my ideas that just jump into my head, things that make me go, hmm, make me think, things that excite me, things that interest me, things that concern me. Uh, just having these small little conversations with you guys. Get a conversation going. Let me know what you think about content. You know, just that barrier between glass artists and you. I'm interested to hear about it. So other than that, guys, believe in yourself and never stop evolving.